what would be the one or two most impactful things that you have found when you've gone for looking at team bonding? What's been the easy ones, the kind of daily things, and then the a bigger scale one less often? There are two types of bonding you're dealing with. You're dealing with team within the club, say your your uh, golf team, right? And then you have the club team as a whole. The big thing, again, to be really simple, you want to create team within your department. That's what it'd be, within your department. The up brief and the debrief each day are the key. They're the key because everybody's talking. Everybody's getting to know each other. That is the key. When it comes to the team as a whole, uh, one uh, to bring them together, the monthly all staff is the key. That's one thing. The next thing is to have common experiences that you do. We love to do bingo. Uh, we love to do whether bocce now because we have bocce courses, whatever it might be that you then mix up the teams. We like to go bowling. I don't know if you like bowling, but you know, it's, I love bowling. So you take them to the bowling course, you split up the team so that nobody works with is on the team of somebody from their department because you're trying to create that different thing. So you mess, mix them up. And all of a sudden they find out that people are really nice that might be there. When I came to the beach club all those many years ago, back in 1982, right? The fact of the matter is the kitchen hated the dining room staff the dining room staff hated the grill the grill hated the beach staff you know on and on and on i knew that one of my jobs was create a sense of team that was that was like warring uh warring factions right it's like the different valleys fighting with each other and one of the great victories i had is i i i brought i don't know if you call it love but certainly i brought the team together as individual team within the larger team and then the larger team i think that's my gift that I was able to do. What's the one best piece or one of the best pieces of advice that you've received in your career? Obviously you give out a lot from your great knowledge you've had in your career, but what's one of the best ones that you've had? Without any question, doing demands debrief. And whatever you do in life, whether it's just driving to work, you know, taking a walk as I'm going to do over to my motorcycle shop, it is an experience from which you can draw great lessons and insights. So whatever your life is, doesn't matter what you're doing, busboy, waiter, president of the United States, every day gives you experiences that give you great insight into the larger thematic issues of life if you learn to see correctly. And the key to seeing is debriefing the experience that you've had. Like after I finish with you, you know, while I'm walking, I'll be debriefing and I'll have my notepad with me. Always carry a notepad and say, well, OK, what should we remember doing in the future? There are about a thousand things I'd like to talk about that we didn't have a chance to talk about. Right. What might those be? Uh, you know, what should we do about the technology? You know, how do we handle this? What about the hearing? I mean, we've had an experience reflect on it i had uh at the beach club 34 years as general manager and i've been in the business of clubs since 1974 and the fact is i'm an old geeky guy and i've taken that first bit of advice doing to, now i it, it it wasn't said to me that way but i made it that way because it's easy to remember doing i've had a life i've done i've crested 70 years old i'm an old man i've got lots of life that i've lived debrief that life experience and draw the great larger principles and practices. Like you say, uh, one of the keys to your success as a general manager is keeping your staff happy. That's a principle. The practices, how do you do it? Up brief, debrief, monthly all staff meeting, uh, you know, uh, common events, upside surprises. You know, I mean, I've got, if you, obviously you've read my article, there are dozens, I think there are like 40 things that you should do. And if I were to evaluate you, Doing demands debrief. None of that stuff was given to me. I didn't read it in a book. They didn't give it to me in a class. You know, it's like I look and experience, think about it, and then I draw something from it. So that that that's the best bit of advice I've ever had. The other bit of advice, and kids often ask me that. I say, Greg, what's the key to my success? And I say, curiosity. Ask questions. You know, all knowledge is question driven. And I would say curiosity is nature's original school of education. So the professional said doing demands debrief, but if you're talking about life, curiosity is the key to a successful and happy life. So those two things.
That's what I would say. 